for many educators, though, it means paying out of pocket yeah. for all those expenses. So expensive. It costs hundreds of dollars, which can be a challenge for some teachers. A local new teacher decided to create a wish list. Kenneth Charles joins us live from Fong Elementary School in the near Northwest Valley with how it's made a huge impact. Candace. Yeah, every help really does make an impact. Good morning, you two. Good morning, folks. Dana Gifford will be a vacancy substitute kindergarten teacher here at Fong Elementary School this fall. And she tells me she's excited and has big dreams for her classroom, but that she was a little surprised to learn she would have to shell out the dough to get those items for her classroom to make it look how she wanted it to look. Now, this is what it looks like right now when she sent out a message on social media asking for help with school supplies. She says a few days later, boxes started showing up at her home. While she tells me she's overjoyed, she says she knows many new teachers aren't as lucky. The National Education Association says more than 90% of teachers nationwide spend their own money on school supplies and other items their students need to succeed. On average, educators spend around $500 of their own money on classroom supplies over the course of the year, with only a $300 expense deduction. While schools provide the basics like paper, pencils, crayons, it's the idea of trying to go above and beyond that is tough for some of the new teachers. But I have friends who were first year teachers and they had to get it themselves and that's kind of sucks, but that's the commitment you make. Now she says the best thing teachers can do for themselves and their students is ask for help. And the hope is that you, the community, will come to their aid. Now we'll have her wish list and other teachers' wish list from the community here on our website, newsnow.com. And if you know of a teacher, just ask them if they do need help. They likely do. For now, live from uh, Fong Elementary School, I'm Candace Charles, 8 News Now.